Hello everyone, I'm Balin Leonard. I'm a country music broadcaster in the UK. I'm so pleased to be here with all of you, wherever you are, and so excited to be celebrating the CMA Stay K with this next guest, Tennille Towns. Greetings from London, Tennille. I was so excited to get to talk to you. Greetings all the way to London. And um, this is just so cool to get to be hanging with everybody. Well, you've become a fixture over here. Everyone is so wonderful over there and I am just dying to get back out on the road and to get to come back to the UK and and see everyone. I got to play my very first like headlining show ever last yeah. year in London and um, that was just a night I will remember for the rest of my life. Everybody blew me away. I, I've heard the legendary UK crowds how much they just sing along and know all the words and and I got to witness it firsthand that night and it was it's really hard to articulate how much that meant to me. Uh, do you feel like this has been a long time coming? I do. I'm just so excited to get to put out this this whole album and, and to be celebrating this collection of songs. And it's been so fun to get to release a few of them sort of on the road leading up to this point. And now to have the entire collection and, and um, I just, I'm just freaking out. It's such a dream. This is like the dream that I had listening to my favorite records as a kid, driving around in the back seat, like asking my parents to turn it up and following along to the lyric booklets. And, and um, this, this season just to celebrate this right now means so much to me. And there are going to be kids in the back seat driving along asking their parents to turn it up so they can sing along. What a dream come true. And these songs as well that, that are on this, they, there's a real range there. You know, a, a lot of your songs really go quite deep. And there's some real issues there that um, not only emotional issues, but just issues in general that I think probably one of the best ways to talk about those things and to deal with them is through music. I completely agree. Music has this like magic quality where I feel like it just kind of knocks down the walls that we build up yeah. around the things that are hard or the things that we feel alone in. And then all of a sudden you hear a song that just kind of takes you somewhere in your mind and it kind of just snuck you in and you're like, oh, wow, this isn't so scary. And that's my favorite part about writing songs and about about playing playing music is that feeling of like, we, we were both going through this, like we're kind of in this together. And, and I, I love getting to talk about things that are hard and things that are joyful in music. It's like all those emotions bundled together are, are the ride that I feel like we, we, get to, we get to go on. Your debut album just dropped last week. It's called The Lemonade Stand. How did you get to the name? To me, The Lemonade Stand is more of like a metaphor for a gathering place where people can, I hope, come and be filled up and be reminded that they could just show up and be who they are and know they're not alone and also be reminded of the the dreams that they had as a kid at a lemonade stand because this this album is absolutely um, that dream for me. Within country music there's so many different sounds and influences and a lot of people come at country music from a totally different angle than someone else so what was some of the influences for you not only when you were growing up, but what type of music do you listen to during a stay K, for example? Like what, what yeah. are you listening to? Who's inspiring you? I am like the biggest Patty Griffin fan. I oh, just, yeah. I'm just in awe of her, the vulnerability in her voice and the, the just the place that her songs kind of take you. They have a way of just like carrying you with this spirit and this feeling. And I feel that way about Laurie McKenna records too. I'm just like the biggest fan of hers. A little bit of a mixture of everything, I guess, but I love the stories of country music. That's what I feel so, so anchored and, and drawn towards. I'm just so excited for you to have this project out. I'm so excited for fans to hear it. And I'm just so um, grateful through the magic of technology. I can sit here in London and you can be there in Nashville and we can share a stay K together. So thanks for hanging out. That's pretty awesome. Thank you for having me. Always so good to talk to you and so great to just get to be a part of this with everybody. All right. See ya. Thanks, Tanil. Bye. Bye. <laughs>